anyway, all right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding some, I'm going to be adding about 150 milliliters to each one of these, um, of each one of these to the solution. Then I'm going to be using a pH test kit that's going to be uh, making sure that the pH stays within the range that I want them for, for growing my tomatoes, etc. Okay, and so I'm going to pause the video and go with that. All right, that shows you what 150 milliliters of the first solution looks like. Does it look like urine? Yeah, uh, because probably the main chemical, this is my nitrogen that I'm adding into the solution. Now, probably for our test pH of this, it'd be probably very, very basic. But for the time being, well, I'm going to put that into the water. And that's my second solution. Now, it's a little bit thicker than water. You might be able to see some bubbles in there. And that's going to be adding um, my phosphorus and other nutrients in there. Very, very, very dilute solution. Yeah, I suspect this would also probably spike the um, pH of the solution um, towards um, towards the basic. Just to kind of show you where this is all going. Okay, but if you can see, yeah, let's see, I'm not sure how well the camera's picking this up, but there's a tank. See the blue hose down there? That's the water circulation system there. And so that will circulate the water up the tower and all the way up there, and then we'll kind of trickle back down here. And so what happens is that those nutrients are picked up by my tomato plant roots, and if they're at the right pH, they'll be optimally picked up, and these tomato plants will keep growing. All right, I added the nutrient solutions now. Here are the pH test, pH test kit components. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting about 5 milliliters of the water from that tank. Okay, so let's see how much of that's going to be. And I'm going to be adding five drops of that orange. It will come out, the solution will come out orange. And then I'm going to compare it to my color comparator here to see what the pH of my solution is. All right, now I can see that the water as it came out was clear. It's like it doesn't look at all like the yellow that I had. And now let's see if I can get this off with one hand. I should be able to. And you can see the indicator base color is orange. And so I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five drops. And you notice how things kind of went from that orange to a green. And let me get the cap back on the indicator bottle. It's hard to do this through the camera sometimes. Okay, now you see that we've got a green. And you look at the different color comparators that I have here. And so now what I do is I place my bottle on what looks like it's going to be a good match. And so I look here. And that looks to be a pretty good match. So it's like you look there, pH is about 6 Okay, for that. It's definitely not 5.5. And if anything, it's trending a little bit more towards 6.5. So that's about the pH range that I want my uh, tower garden to be at. So it's like I'm going to leave well enough alone, and I'm not going to add the buffer solutions today. So anyway, it's just a quick application of how I use pH in my everyday life. And I will hopefully get this thing uploaded before class today. Bye-bye.